Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the second in a series of video tutorials on how to create a Super Mario clone in Unity 5. So in this episode uh, we're going to be looking at texturing, uh, materials, we'll be parenting things in our hierarchy over here, and we'll also look at a little bit of depth perception. So we're going to jump straight, uh, straight into it. First thing to do is these three blocks, if you remember from last time, we uh, created into a bit of an L shape. Well, what I'm going to do now is to keep everything neat and tidy. I'm not actually going to rename these. I'm going to keep them as ground, ground one, ground two. In the hierarchy, right click, go to create empty. If it's coupled like this, then uncouple it. So drag and drop to the bottom of your hierarchy. And you'll see that the arrow here disappears. The reason it had an arrow to begin with is because we had a ground selected and we inserted a new object. So it, parent, it uh, created the child object, so it parented it with ground. So we need to unparent. Right click, rename, and I'm going to call this, um, I think it's going to call this ground section. Now an empty game object is a game object within your scene which has no other properties to begin with other than its position, rotation, and scale. But none of these really matter because it's not a visible object at all. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag ground there, ground one there, ground two there. So all three are now under this ground section. And if you have one object selected there, you'll see that one object is selected. Same with that one, that one. If you have this new uh, empty game object selected now, it actually selects all three. So everything which is in the child. So just to recap, ground section is the parent and everything below is the ground. So if you select the parent, everything is selected. Uh, next what we'll do is we will start to texture. So down here in your asset window, right click, create, folder. And let's call this textures. Nice and simple. Double click to go into the folder and it's empty, which is what we want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop this particular texture, which is ground 001, into Unity. So as with Windows or anything really, drag and drop here in this bottom window. And it'll import right there. So now that's our ground texture that we want to apply to our blocks here, as that will make it look a little bit more like a game. So drag and drop this texture straight onto there. As we do it, you'll notice something happens. A new folder down here called materials has been created. And you'll notice that this material here has generated itself all on its own. Now, usually that happens when you drag and drop a texture straight on there, but there is an alternative way of doing it. And in materials, you can right click, create, and then go down here to material. And you could name this material, um, for convenience, I'm gonna call it ground 002. And then over here, you have a few settings. We're not gonna worry about any of these settings just yet, but make sure you have ground 002 selected. Go on to textures, take this texture and drag it onto this spot just here. And then if we head back to materials, you'll see that it has been done. It's textured. It is basically identical to this one that was auto created. So that is one way of creating materials and we will be doing it uh, later on in uh, possibly the next tutorial. I'm not entirely sure yet, we'll have to see. So for now, uh, we'll delete that ground 002 because we don't actually need it. That was just a way of showing you how you could do it. So take the rest and drop them onto the three objects. And as this doesn't particularly look um, like Super Mario should do, it's put it uh, reverse. So what we're going to do is take the object and rotate on the Y, I think, by 180. Is that how we have it looking there? Yes. So it looks exactly like this when we look at it at the camera. I'll show you that in just a second. So take each object, rotate by 180. And that one too, 180. So now when we go onto our main camera and press play, 
it builds the scene and you can see that it actually looks more like the Mario blocks should do in the game. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the three blocks. Notice I'm not actually selecting the ground uh, section here, I'm actually selecting each individual block. And you can do that by holding control and clicking on your object. So hold control, press D to duplicate, and we create a duplicate. So let's pull it out. And again, and again, and one more time. So now we have quite a few uh, ground cubes there. Now just for reference, Unity itself, um, there is strictly no limit to how many game objects you can have in one scene. But um, from my previous experience, um, generally on an average machine, you can have somewhere around 20,000 objects and still not have a problem. If you've got a really, really fast machine, supercomputer, you could probably have upwards of 100,000 uh, objects within your scene. So the fact we have uh, 15 items all the same, it doesn't matter too much. As I say, Unity is not a modeling engine, it is a game engine in the respect of you can build it, you can't model with it. So because this is only aimed at Unity, we're going to be doing it this way. But we'll be cut, cut corners, but making things a little bit easier and using less objects in the future. But we'll get around to that in a bit. So as we've seen, we can drag textures into here. You can also drag and drop multiple textures at one time. So let's take these other four. All of these textures are available on our website for free. The link is in the description of this video. If you head over to our website, you can download these textures for free in our downloads and assets section. Uh, just keep in mind that these are not official uh, Super Mario textures. These are something that uh, we have either created ourselves or are available for free on the internet. So next, what we'll do is we have all these imported. Let's create a brown block. Best way to do that, if you click the arrow there, so ground section, just to minimize it so we're nice and clear here. Let's uh, right click here, 3D object, and cube. And as you can see, it's decided to put a cube in all three. Now the reason that's happened is because when we have added a new game object, we have still had these three um, cubes selected. So it's put a new game object inside each of these three cubes. Now it is vital, because we have made that mistake just there, to make sure you have nothing selected. So let's delete those three cubes that we have erroneously added to our game. Now we have nothing selected. So let's click that again to clear it in hierarchy. Right click, 3D object, cube. And now you can see that it appears right there. Let's zero out the position up here. And you can see that that is the zero position. And what I want to do now is I want to change the snap settings. So edit, snap settings, and I'm going to change this to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5. Press the X. And holding control, I'm going to bring it upwards. Um, about there. I'm going to change the camera angle now. So using the hand tool, bring over this way. Turn ourselves around. And I want to bring this block into the kind of middle of here because in the middle of these two blocks is where our character will be walking. So hold control again, pull on the Z or Z axis. Um, two, I think. Should we just check that's in the middle? No, that's not in the middle. So that's now in the middle. Let's bring it over here to about there. And let's bring it back up to there. So as we discussed earlier about uh, new materials, let's right click here. Uh, let's go to create and let's click on material. Let's call this material brown block 001. And then let's head to textures and then drag and drop our brown block texture just here. So now we have the material for the brown block. And we can just drag and drop into Unity. Now that is the one thing I absolutely love about Unity. It is so simple to do these things. It isn't difficult to um, create something so simple so quickly. 
Um, what we'll do is we will right click, rename, and let's simply call this brown block. I'm not going to call it anything else, just there. Okay, so the last thing we'll do in this tutorial is we will give a bit of depth perception, which kind of means a background. And we imported uh, three things, th oh, sorry, three other things just here. We have clouds, green pipe, and green pipe. These two, the green pipe, we will deal in the next tutorial. We'll be building uh, a pipe in the next tutorial, as well as the question mark blocks. So for now, we want clouds 002. Now there are a couple of ways that you could apply this as the background to the game. But because this is beginner, it's simple, we're going to do it the whole simple way. So game object, 3D object, and let's see. Do you know what? We'll go with cube. Just to prove that you can actually build a fully working game just by cubes. And a bit of scripting, obviously. So I want to zero out this position again. And I want to make it quite large. So how large shall we make it? We need to change the X. Let's change this to how about 50. And let's change the Y to um, how about just 25. Now your screen should be filled with white. So what we'll do is hold control and on the Z axis, which is the blue arrow, pull it backwards to maybe about there. So then up here it tells you it is 15 on the Z axis or Z axis. So what we'll do, nice and simple, cloud 002, drag and drop onto that new object. Upside, if it's upside down, just type 180 on rotation. There, that looks fine. So if we press play, we should see that our clouds are like that. Which, yeah, that's okay. But let's take it further back. And the clouds are further back. So if we move over here, you can see there is a massive gap between there. Um, depending on um, how we go, we may create a third layer in the middle of clouds. But we'll, we'll see what happens. At the moment, it's easy just to keep this as uh, simple as possible and in fact the last thing we'll actually do is we'll give ourselves a bit of um, make it start looking a little better so I'm actually going to place this at 20 right there right click uh, rename or we'll call this oops, cloud background um, like so uh, we won't couple these in the hierarchy just yet. We will do it possibly next tutorial. Uh, hold control, press D to duplicate. Let's pull it this way. About there. Once again. And let's pull it. Oops. Let's pull it this way. And then let's select all three. Remember, if you hold control and select objects, you can select them. Control D to uh, duplicate again, and let's pull them up. Now, as I say, this won't hog any resources in Unity whatsoever. Unity is a, is a really good engine in that respect. And as this is beginners, this is the easiest way to do it. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this camera. Remember, we have our little preview there. So we can adjust our camera to about there. Let's pull it up to about there and let's press play so now we kind of have our setting getting ready for when we have our player in when we have other objects in so our player will be uh, running along the middle here hitting these blocks doing whatever else and last thing to do is save so if you file and uh, save scene as and then I just call this one level 01. So if you type that and click save, I want to overwrite because I already have saved it uh, between this tutorial and the previous. You will get this just here, which is level one, which is your scene. So if you open up Unity 
uh, your project and you see nothing here, you just need to double click this, this icon here and it will open up your scene. So as I say, next episode we'll be looking a bit more into the features, i.e. Uh, pipe, uh, we'll be looking at blocks and a couple of different things. So pretty soon we'll be putting our character in and we'll actually be able to play our level. So until next time, thank you very much for watching.